Hey guys, I want to give you a quick tour of the Artist Web Quest um, website and help you navigate through. I want to start with the teachers page, which has a note from myself um, to you and to um, the visitors, like staff and parents. Um, it pretty much has an introduction and of the standards and uh, the um, technological requirements, um, time of uh, uh, that you'll be spending on the project and it has my email information. Next is the introduction page which um, introduces the project and tells you you know that you are going to be uh, building skills of an art critic and an art historian and that you'll be able to um, write uh, critiques and reviews about specific artworks <clears throat> and then you have the link here to go to the task you can also navigate it through here through the main menu and that's how I build it for you so it's uh, easy um, to go to the next step so you can always go here down to the bottom um, link and click to the next um, step and this is a task page so it pretty much it's an introduction of what you will have to do um, it, it um, starts with you know you have to select an artist um, it can be famous or not just make sure that the artist um, qualifies um, by uh, you being able to answer these um, next questions so for instance you need to be able to um, select uh, or research um, exhibitions. Oh, so the artist needs to be at least exhibited in some sort of way, um, at least an Instagram. So make sure that you read all these seven uh, questions before selecting your artist. So here you can go to process number one. So it, it tells you exactly step by step what to do. So, um, you know, it says name the first page introduction. Um, we practice with building websites with Google Sites. So um, this tells you exactly what to do in seven steps. Um, there's this is uh, I cut it, the process in two. So you can go to process two for the other steps. So insert a fourth page and title it exhibits, for instance. Um, and it finalizes with publish your website with a unique name that has not been taken, kind of like what we practiced. And then finally, uh, copy the link onto your digital portfolio web wiki site. And then um, I recommend that you visit the evaluation rubric before turning your work in. And actually, um, you can look at the rubric, and you should look at the rubric before beginning your your work. So your rubric is under process two, under evaluation rubric. You can always easily access it on the main menu here, evaluation rubric. And it um, it's designed just the way we've been doing uh, rubrics, uh, following the same structure. You know, it has to be built with Google News Sites, has to have um, five pages uh, with all the supporting information, and so on and so forth. Um, then finally, once you check your rubric and you make sure you have everything, and then you can go to the conclusion here. Once you have finalized your project, you can go to your conclusion. And this is pretty much me congratulating you on um, completing the quest. Um, so you can read through here. Um, I have some, <clears throat> some questions for you to think about um, to kind of wrap and to um, give um, this quest uh, sort of like meaning uh, in the real world. So I encourage you to visit the Getty Research Institute website where um, they do um, uh, re projects, their research projects. Um, so this is something that you can do out there as a career. You know, they have the Getty has a group of uh, professionals, art collectors, art historians, art critics that are working on these active projects. So I encourage you here to um, find three projects. They're very interesting. They 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 have all their different cultures, d different. Um, 
styles of art that you can um, read about it and think about which ones you would like to find out more about um, as a conclusion. So this pretty much wraps everything um, about the artist web quest. Thank you. I hope this helps.